Hi Taurus, this is going to be your weekly love reading. And it looks like you feel like you're being deceived or for some of y'all, either you're being deceived or you're deceiving yourself about, you know, it's time to go. You know what it is that you need to do. You know what action that you need to take. You're in a situation in a relationship or connection with somebody here where you're looking, you don't have any peace. You don't have any peace or you're in your head about what it is that you need to do. And that's what's causing the worry and the anxiety. Like you're, you're worried. I, I don't know what the anxiousness is about. Nine of swords, eight of swords, you're in your head, but it's like, you know exactly what you need to do. You know, it's time for you to leave a situation collective. This is something where it could be somebody is like, lying to you and you know they're lying to you they're not telling the truth you know what i mean that could be the situation or you are lying to yourself and deceiving yourself and making excuses for somebody's actions here and in the reality of the situation is some of y'all don't have the confidence and i'm not trying to be hard on you but i'm just looking at the energy here because this deceit is here with the third chakra and that's about you believing that you have the ability to do something that you can do something right confidence you could be a leo you don't have to be seven of swords energy um you know you could be a gemini libra and aquarius i have those in your chart but the truth is right you have the wisdom there's an owl on top of this mask somebody's wearing this uh, false mask here um they know that it's time for them to trust their wisdom and their discernment you know the truth right you know what it's going to take for you to find your inner peace about the situation to come out of this worry, this anxiety about the situation and this connection. You, The bottom line is, you know, it's time for you to go. You know, it's time for you to leave. You know, it's time for you to walk away. OK, for some of you all, even if you have released the person, you're not talking to them. Well, not release the person, because I feel like y'all have not released this, whether it's energetically or physically. OK, so like for those of you, there are some of y'all who have like aren't haven't talked to this person and you're no longer together. But you haven't released this person energetically. There are others of you who are in a connection with somebody and, you know, you just haven't let go of them physically, okay? But you know it's time for you to walk away and move on, Eight of Cups energy, with this time to go. I don't know, the thing is, is though, like the Ace of Pentacles is here, which is telling me, which is makes total sense for this reading, because on the bottom of the deck, yeah, the Emperor, y'all have something new coming. Okay, so this is giving me, okay, Aries energy here. You could, uh, you don't have to be dealing with an Aries, but the Emperor energy is somebody here who takes control over their life, okay? It could be for some of y'all, it's time for you to let go of some certain things in your life and take control of that. Um, but for the most part, thank you, Spirit. Okay, I just got a dinging in my ear. This is what I feel like. Once you let go, yeah, thank you, spirit. Okay, there goes that Leo energy, that strength. You having the power, you believing in yourself that you have the power and the ability to be successful and to do this, do whatever it takes for you to walk away and get your peace or release this person energetically to, to find your peace, right? That's that angel of strength. I feel like once you walk away, here's what you have to coming towards you. Milk and honey, action and then door to romance okay now again if this isn't you this is somebody else who's like lying to themselves you know knowing the truth uh why they can't come towards you they're in their head they they don't have peace until they leave another situation and come towards you okay if this isn't you this is your person okay and i feel like either way once someone leaves a situation where they know it's not good for them or not healthy for them, it's not working for them anymore, this is what they're going to get. This is what they're going to get. But the thing is, yeah, look at this, five of swords and six of swords. It's like you got to walk away from somebody playing mind games or whatever this is. I, let, let's pull some more energy here. Tell me what else here in this situation for the collective, please. Look at this. Three of Pentacles. All right. The star. The star. Okay. Three of Pentacles and the star. Aquarius energy and Capricorn energy here. Mm 
the strength card is coming out again. Leo energy. I like this. I like this. Yeah, I like this. So maybe some of y'all have already walked away from a situation. The king of wands. This, this is you taking action, finding the confidence, okay? Or someone here is. Someone might be taking the action. Let's get more information. This, yeah, a new beginning, the fool. Aries, Aquarius energy. Strong Aries energy here. Strong uh, Aquarius energy here. Leo as well. Yo, ooh, ooh, the Ten of Cups. You see what I'm saying? Mm, mm, ooh, the Ten of Pentacles is, uh, listen, the Ten of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck. It's on the bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, you, as soon as you release this energy or you walk away from something, as soon, it's like, you know what you need to do. Because this King of Wands is is like facing in the direction of this Three of Pentacles, the Star, and the Strength card. Clarify this Three of Pentacles, please. Let's clarify some of these. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? The Sun. Yeah. Some of y'all have something good. There's a lot of strong like energy of you finding your confidence finally. So y'all will be coming out of this worry, this stress, or this being upset about a situation. You 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 may have already so some of y'all have already like surpassed this energy. This is like past energy, right? But for some of y'all, that's not everybody. Because I regardless of where you are in the timeline, like feel like again, either you haven't energetically let the situation go. Or, you know, it's time for you to physically leave and go somewhere. But the point is, when you finally pick up and leave and go somewhere, when you finally release a certain energy here, it's like, and you work with your spirit guides and you work with your team, it's like, there's happiness. There's a wish fulfillment coming towards you as soon as you find the confidence to take a risk towards something new. You're going to find your ultimate happiness. You're going to find your ultimate emotional satisfaction. What's the star energy, please? So now we have the strength card, the star card, the sun card, the fool card here. You see what I'm saying? The star card. Why is the star card here? I know for me personally, I would definitely be like, yeah, it's time to go. It's definitely, yeah, the knight of cups. The star card is an, uh, an offer coming towards you. For some of y'all, I'm telling you, if you release a past energy, man, Clarify the strength card. Clarify the strength card, please. Somebody here could live in Hawaii. And this fell on to, yeah, this is you acting like everything is fine. You're okay. You've moved on from this person energetically, or if you're still with this person, you don't really care. No, you care. You're acting like everything is fine and everything is not okay. Now, for some of y'all, uh-oh, hold on. What was this? Four of Swords. This is somebody not taking action on what they know they need to do. Now, for some of you, there could be a masculine who wants to take action, but they don't have the confidence to do so. They're acting like everything is okay when everything is not okay. Show me this fool energy. Mm. Yeah, you're about to have a new beginning. The the tower, Scorpio energy here, Aries energy, a lot of strong Aries energy here with its fool and the tower and a lot of major arcana cards here. We have one, two, three, four, five major arcana cards out here right now. This is a big change for somebody in their life, okay? This is major energy out here right now. I want to know more about this King of Wands. Why is this King of Wands here? Yeah. Definitely, this this King of Wands is the person who's worried, okay? So this could be you, or this could be a masculine. This King of Wands is the person who's not doing anything, but they're stressed about it. Show me more about this King of Wands. The moon. 
Well, <laughs> I'm crossing. The challenge is this person releasing fear. The challenge is either you or this masculine coming out of fear. Clarify this moon. Six of Cups, because they may maybe they miss you. Six of Cups. There could also be some inner childhood wounds here that need to be healed. Some children, children may be involved in this situation here too. Okay, that's not for everybody, but the Six of Cups is here, the Ten of Cups is here, and the Sun card is here. So definitely for some of y'all, either this is involving somebody's inner child. Um, someone here needs to follow their heart and they're acting like everything is okay, but they're not following their heart and making this decision and taking this action because of fear. Give me, oh, look at this. Two of Cups. Yeah, look at this. Somebody's not taking action. Is this you? Are you the Empress? Or this is how somebody sees you? They know who the Divine Feminine is, okay? They're upset about the way this uh, connection is going. Or this could be you, upset. Clarify this moon card. Yeah, something ended here, Scorpio energy. Clarify this tower. Let me get some more information, y'all. Yeah, I'm telling you, whatever this is, someone is stressed out. Somebody is stressed out and having anxiety and worry over taking some form of action, either ending a situation and taking, I feel like ending a situation and taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. Somebody's afraid to do that. Show, clarify the fool, please. Why is the fool here? Yeah, I told you. Yeah. Somebody could have played the fool here or someone here regrets treating you crazy as hell is what this is. And now they want to work it out and now they want to give to you. They're seeing a whole difference. Like this person is like, they're in the energy of being stuck out of fear, but they know they owe you an apology. They know they owe you an apology, Page of Cups, or this is you being stuck or like saying like, I'm not accepting anything. Okay, let me back it up because I feel like this is all over the place because I'm getting a lot of stuff here. For, Matt, for the feminine energy, I feel like there's a lot of disappointment and regret, and I'm going to show you why. I feel like you guys regret working things out with people in the past who deceived you, who, who um, put you in this energy of like, who may have lied to you, betrayed you, or something of that sort. Like, you regret being empathic or or being loving or being kind to somebody here queen of cups you could be a cancer pisces or a scorpio here or this is someone here too i'm also getting energy because the energy of deceit is out here we started out with that seven of swords immediately right this could be a masculine who lied to you who regrets lying to you and deceiving you and they tried to dip out on you and you know i'm just saying <sighs> And now they want to come back towards you and make something work, right? Eight of Pentacles. They want to make something work. They want to team up with you. They're in this Three of Pentacles energy, regretting something, uh, seeing something. See, they're seeing and understanding that they owed you more. Six of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles. This person feels like they owed you more. They should have gave you more. You deserved more. Is this what I'm saying? What I'm like? This is what this person is seeing, and they owe you an apology. Pisces energy here could be. They don't have to be. They owe you an apology. Page of Cups, the High Priestess. But I feel like you're not saying anything to this person. You're not saying any, anything to this person with this High Priestess energy being here. You're minding your business. But somebody's watching you here. Page of Swords. This person's watching you move on, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Listen, let's, let's show me this Queen of Cups energy. Who is this Queen of Cups? Who is this Queen of Cups, please? Okay, Eight of Wands. Who is this Queen of Cups?
Ten of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck again. One more for the Queen of Cups. Man, listen. I'm just going to keep it real. If you're resonating as the Queen of Cups, it's time for you to take action. It's like you've been back and forth in between. You know what the burden is. You know what it's time for you to release and walk away from something, right? Because there's a burden here with this Ten of Wands, but it's like you've been juggling. You've been undecided. You don't know. It's like you are weighing your options. What do I want to do? But the thing is, it's like you feel overwhelmed with this situation here. You do feel overwhelmed. And, you know, I feel like people, you could be receiving communication or you could be hearing stuff or like, I don't know, receiving downloads. Somehow, some way with this Eight of Wands and this Five of Swords, it's like, you know, somebody's playing games with you. You know, it's time for you to go. Because it's like you don't have any peace in this situation. Mm. Some of y'all, this is a soulmate. And this masculine feels alone. Some of y'all have cut this masculine off energetically. You stop giving your energy to this person. You may have done a cord cutting. You uh, may have, some of y'all may have stopped having uh you know physical relations with this person they know they need to apologize look at this they know they need to apologize to you they're still holding on to you king of cups and page of cups four of pentacles they're still holding on to you they're they are this emperor here either you have a new emperor coming in for you ace of pentacles eight of, mm. For some of y'all, you may have a new masculine here wanting to come in and give you what you deserve or uh, this is that same masculine. Mm. Okay. Um, hold on, y'all. Show me more here about this situation. Um, this masculine does not want you to give up on them. They're trying to change, but it's not going to happen overnight. That's what this person wants you to know. So they're in the energy of they know they have to do what it takes to change, but they are afraid that it's going to take too long and you're going to move on. And I feel like y'all are real close to this energy here. This person feels like you may speak to them through music. And they definitely feel triggered when they hear some form of music or some form of song here. For some of you guys, this person, your person may volunteer quite a bit. For some of you all, this is not for everybody. This person could be a single parent. They could be a single father. That's not for everyone. If they're not a single parent or a single father or they're a great parent, they're a great father. Some of y'all, they have a daughter. Um, you know, it's like this person has a big heart too. This person is replaying all of the conversations over in their head between the two of y'all. This person, for, there are some of y'all who feel like when you talk to this masculine and, you, and you're, you know, you're trying to tell them something. This could be past energy or present energy. Take it out how it resonates, but they feel like you're not listening to them. Ooh, but but you are listening to them. And I just dropped a whole bunch of cards. They are listening to you. So this masculine is going through some form of an awakening. So they know more than they're letting on. Okay. They know their they know their faults. They know. I just feel like somebody here is getting ready to drop something unexpectedly because all those cards just dropped out of my hand. Yeah. I just feel like you feel let down. You know, I just feel like you're disappointed in this masculine. You're disappointed in their decisions. 
You're disappointed. You know, they put you through a lot of stress. But to be honest, I feel like, you know, y'all really gave this person a lot of chance, too many chances. Yeah, denial. It, it seems like to me, um, there was some denial here. Somebody's in denial that the spark is gone. Um, hmm. But there's somebody here that can't let go. I, there's someone here just prolonging, ending a situation. It's clear to saying it's time for you to let go or it's time for them to let go of another situation. Somebody definitely can't let go of you. That's for sure. But like I said, it's a situation where like the spark is gone. Like I said earlier, somebody may have stopped sleeping with someone physically, sexually, you know, that, that sort of thing. Someone here knows it's time for them to choose a new direction, but like they're having difficulty doing that because there are so many fears here. Someone here needs to clean up their life and start a new life with you. But it's like they're trying to fight some form of rebirth here. Because this rebirth energy just came out um, like crossing, which means there's a challenge. This person is having some form of challenge and maybe you are too. It kind of seems like y'all are in a similar energy to be quite honest. Healing is on the top of the deck here. Okay, I feel like just work through it. You know what I'm saying? Do your do the best that you can to work through it. All right. Because I feel like this is not going to be the last time you and this person are going to cross paths. There's going to be another opportunity for the two of you to come together again. Uh, I don't feel like this is over. <laughs> I don't feel like somebody's learned their lesson. Mm -mm -mm. This person is definitely involved with somebody else or they feel obligated to somebody else. They didn't put you first, so you decided to put your own self first and find your own independence here. That could have been like the test, the last test for you, but I feel like your person still has another test to go through too, and they haven't passed this test yet, and so this person is going to continue to have those problems until they pass that test. Yeah. In the past, this person wanted to keep their options open. They just weren't ready. <clears throat> yeah. I feel like in the past, yeah. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to know that there's extra protection around you and extra support around you at this time if you're feeling um alone or like you don't know what to do or you feel like a lack of confidence and strength right now just hold on okay you are protected you're you are strong enough to get through this strong scorpio energy here october scorpio and november scorpio here too the thing is i feel like someone here knows that some they either you know this person's toxic but you are coming out of some form of denial or this person knows that they're toxic and they need to change that behavior and they really want to work on it. And a, a lot of that stems from lack of commitment for some reason, fear, you know what I'm saying? Like, again, this person hasn't learned their lesson and, they, and they're realizing that they had a lot of maturing and growing to do here is what I'm getting. A lot of maturing and growing to do. So let's see what the blockages are other than maturity and toxic behavior and fear and like third party refusing to change, trying to treat you like an option and do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? What are the blockages here? Yeah, um, somebody could be getting tarot card readings on you. Or you may have gotten a tarot card reading on this person and you already know what's going on with them. And this person just feels like you don't want to hear anything they have to say, okay? 
or like you've heard this person's excuses way too many times and you're just over it you know you don't want to hear anything else anymore because this person played games they played mind games they were a player here they're a player um for some of y'all this is not for everybody but this person gambled okay or uh, they're having some financial difficulties here somebody may they're getting this together somebody here may have been behind on child support alimony they're having problems with the government they owe somebody um, definitely an issue with a lack of commitment here in a home, a family, you know, this is in reverse. Especially with this financial support energy. Like I said, the Six of Cups is here. This person can't move on. They're thinking about you. y'all have who, who what is this new love about this could be a twin flame look at that twin flame energy show me more here about this new love energy mm. y'all have somebody new coming towards you who wants to give to you. This is a person who's not guarded. They're not going to play games. They're not going to resist the connection. They're, go they're going to want to hang out with you, go out on a date. Okay. This is coming really soon here. This is coming real soon. Okay. You may have already met this person. Uh, it seems like that person, for those of you who've already met this person, it seems like their intentions are pure. But this past person is still thinking about you and you might even be thinking about them. I don't know. Some of y'all are really focused on yourselves, you know, and you've already come out of the anxiety and you're afraid. But, you know, I feel like this is somebody here who's upset with you. They may have ghosted you, stopped talking to you. They're not a great communicator at all. They were in and out, night of wands energy. They disappeared when they wanted to. And you felt stuck to this person or bound to this person because they were your twin. No, negative. You don't have to feel that way at all. Um, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Show me this thief energy. I, I, I just feel like somebody is, there's definitely a strong energy of walking away copycat energy here desire to win dude there's a third party who feels like they did everything they could to get your person and they won them and then it's like your person regrets giving in to that energy they may have met somebody else that was similar to you, but that person wasn't a real divine feminine. That person wasn't a real divine masculine. And now this masculine is realizing that. Yeah, they're realizing it. Look, they're getting clarity. Third eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, impersonator. Wants to be like you, acts like you, dresses like you, looks like you, and copies you. Now, whether or not, you know, some of y'all, this third party knew who you were and they tried to impersonate your energy or your person thought that it was going to be easier over here with a third party energy and they could steal your energy and then like, you know, like just put it into this person or try to make this person be similar to you or do the things that you would do. They, they quickly found out that that was not going to be the case. There is only, they found out that there is only one you collective. They did. I really feel like they did. Because they're not, they're, <laughs> this person may have came out, made themselves out to be like a fake version of you, but this person quickly realized they're not abundant. They may have come across as abundant, but the reality of the situation is they're not abundant. And this person is seeing that person for who they are, and they don't have any more patience for that situation, and now they're done. Mm -hmm. Yep, I told you. They're done. They're taking the rose-colored glasses off these illusions. 
Okay, now this person is sad and alone, wishing they never ran away from the connection. You know, they feel like they were detoured, you know, but, but spirit is about to step in. Spirit is about to step in. Show me more here about this divine intervention. Or spirit may have revealed, you know, this third party for who they were. Show me about this divine intervention, please. Mm -hmm. For some of y'all, that's the divorce and it's over. I'm just, uh-oh. I'm not picking that up. Yeah, it's a divorce and somebody here is having money problems. Or like I said, this, this other person is not abundant. Somebody is finding out someone is not who they say that they are. Somebody does not have what they say that they have, whether it's money, finances, or it's energy. You cannot be duplicated. You cannot duplicate a real divine feminist energy. I don't give a damn. Like, how long you try it might look cool for, like, a hot minute, but that's about it. You know, a closer look, nosy up in your business. Somebody here went looking and digging for something and they found something out, or the third party is always in your business. I don't know. Like... Yeah. Some of y'all, this person is having dreams and trying to send you messages in a 3D here. I'm telling you, this person thought the grass was greener on the other side with this other person. But it's not. It's in reverse. It's not. It was not. The real deal was with you. And now this person is angry, upset, dissatisfied, arguing. They don't feel of any form of power or strength. It's unfortunate. This is really unfortunate. What does this person want to say for the collective? I need time to heal. I don't know what I want. Keep your options open. I can't be who you want me to be. I see a future with you. So here's the deal. They see a future with you, but they feel like they're not ready to change, which we, we've already talked about that. You know, I still feel like, you know, this person thinks that you're going to keep your options open. Um, but like low key, like have they really learned anything here? Because they got a lot of growing up to do is what I'm getting here. You know, this person is trying their best. This person said, I'm trying my best. Their best is real mediocre. I don't know what to tell y'all. They don't know. They don't know you like I do. Be strong. Stay with me. I remember you from a past life. It's okay to cry. I'm telling you, somebody is really in their feelings, but they're not ready to do what it takes. They're not ready to heal. They're not ready to become their highest self yet. They have a lot of stuff they need to learn, a lot of lessons that need to be learned here before they can ascend and anything can be reconciled. You know, I just feel like y'all have something else coming towards you that's better when you, when you let go of this situation. Let's get you an angel number. But I do, to be honest with you, I feel like y'all are mirroring this person. Okay. What, what's the advice? For the collective, please. Thank you. You could be seeing the numbers 19, 1919 here. Yeah. Karma will be paying you a visit. Release the need to control because you cannot force things. Learn your lessons so that they don't repeat in the future. Make some space for new experiences. So for those of y'all who don't want to repeat the same cycle with this person, spirit is warning you. Because we already talked about that, like, or this could be that person's energy. You know what I mean? Like, they definitely haven't learned a lesson. We've already talked about that. You have the power and the strength to, to, um, to change, to change this. Or your person does, and they don't see that. They don't really believe that they have the power to do this. Let me get one more, please. Some of y'all could be seeing nine, nine, nine. 
or 0707 here. Release. Spirit is telling you to release this situation uh, and it's time for you to let go of it. And we already talked about that, right? Your current circumstances are ending. So you might take advantage of better ones. Like I said, once you let that go, there's something better coming in. If you are experiencing a significant change or conclusion, viewing your life as a series of cycles or chapters may be helpful. How can you make room for something new to emerge? You know how you can make new for something new to emerge is to let go of that other stuff, right? Um, then we have let go of what no longer serves you. Stop holding on to grudges. Express your emotions and aim towards a compromise. Where there's lack of understanding, it's best that you just move on. The truth will set you free. The truth will set you free. Yeah. Coming out of denial, you have this, y'all. Y'all can do this, okay? Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and um, yeah, I'll see y'all later, okay? Bye.